Anorexia is an eating disorder causing people to obsess about weight and what they eat. Anorexia is categorized by a distorted body image with an unwanted fear of being overweight, according to the source. However, if you are currently battling this disease or you have conquered it, I do understand it is much more. Rachel and Claire Walmeyer. They have lived most of their life with anorexia over 20 years. It started when they were 14 years old. They were described as smart, funny. They excelled in sports. Their father called him his golden girls. They had their whole life ahead of them. Their future was so promising. Their mother found a diary reading that the girls they read about anorexia, and they just stopped eating. Rachel and Claire said they were finally noticed at school. Their classmates said, quote, you've lost weight, end quote. They didn't elaborate if it was in a good way or a bad way by the students, but they said it. They were being noticed, and that's all that mattered. At 14, the twin teenagers had plummeted down to 62 pounds. Their parents have sought help for them. They have seen over 40 specialists, doctors, inpatient hospitalization. It seems that when one twin was doing better, the other would bring them back down to square one. It was like a never ending cycle, hopeless tragedy. Their mother feared that she would walk into their daughter's bedrooms and they'd be dead. They ran almost every morning to lose weight. They have been running for years now, eating next to nothing and scarfing down 20 laxatives per day. Now, the 34-year-old twins, Claire, she weighs 58 pounds with a bone density of a 72-year-old woman. Rachel is 10 pounds thinner than her sister at 48 pounds with a bone density of a 100-year-old woman. Liver failure, kidney failure, stress fractures. They have never menstruated, aches and pains. It hurts for them to even get out of bed. Their life has been so depressing. They have attempted to end it numerous times. They say that they live for each other, and now they are ready to die for each other. They have made a pact to get down to 40 pounds in hopes that they will die. Besides their health problems, they have one friend, another young woman named Rachel. They have never been in love, never finished school, or even held a job, only dealing with this disorder their entire life. People knew who they were. They had been on countless talk shows besides the people in Melbourne. They knew who they were. Some didn't have nice things to say about the twins. They called them drug addicts. And a lot of people would say, that they were going to go away for a very long time. And that wasn't far from the truth. If things could get worse, the twins turned out to be addicted to amphetamines. They said it helped them with their pain, and it also helped them to lose more weight. They would steal to get the money in order to be able to buy the drugs. And they were possibly looking at some jail time. The twins were more desperate than ever to get help, but yet they still seemed more hopeless than ever. Their mother, she said she couldn't imagine losing one daughter, let alone two, as she cried. She hates when people tell her that her daughters are going to die. What was left to do? The twins say that they have regret everything that has happened. A well-known doctor, Ira Sachter, 
He treated them for over a year. As Tracy Gold, an actress in the 80s and 90s who suffered from an anorexia herself, she was rooting for them. She would actually fly to Australia just to see and meet them and tell them her own story and how she triumphed and conquered this terrible disease. It was hopeful. Things were looking up. You could only hope for the best and yet prepare for the worst. They were trying. Or were they? Remember, they have been up and down for over 20 years now. While appearing on a national television show, the twins would run away from their weigh-in. They were 60 pounds when they started the program, and the viewers were eager to see how much that they had gained, even though it appeared that they were still very frighteningly skinny. Gaining weight meant, quote, fat. It's frightening, that's what they said. So they refused to get on the scale. With convincing, Claire got on as Rachel peaked to see her numbers. Rachel and Claire both had gained 10 pounds within one year under this doctor's care. It had to look good for the show, but it was also mentioned by another doctor that they had a very small chance of survival. Back at their apartment, the twins shared. They only had two slices of watermelon in their refrigerator. A year prior, when that doctor looked in that refrigerator, they had one piece of a pineapple slice, so it really seemed like nothing changed. So the cameras were gone, and the twins would continue living their lives. Marathon running, staying together every day and every night. And they had it in their minds that they were all that they had. And they only knew what the other one was feeling because they were going through this together. As caring as they were towards one another, they had a volatile relationship. In 2010, Rachel was charged with trying to kill Claire. When the Geelong police arrived, her hands were wrapped around Claire's throat as she throttled her and threatened to kill her. She was granted bail and the charges would be later dropped. It was even talk about locking both the sisters up and maybe forcing them to eat. But that was a thought that we know would have ended in maybe a worse tragedy than what would originally happen. In August of 2012, firefighters had rushed to Grovedale at 9.40 p.m. after a neighbor reported smelling smoke. As a fire fire had entered the building, the twins were laying next to each other on the living room floor. One twin was dead at the scene and the other twin died on the way to the hospital. At 42 years old, Rachel and Claire were gone. They didn't note that the fire was suspicious or that it was on purpose apart from their pact. There are many theories of why this happened and their parents and their older brother are devastated at the loss of Rachel and Claire. Claire had once said, quote, if you take away anorexia, I am nothing. I don't even know who I am, end quote. 